what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city 4 and today i'm here to bring you guys more subscriber monday so today's subscriber of the day is mr nuclear 99 pro now this guy is pretty much of a solid player here in black ops 3 he's pretty much of a strategist on the battlefield he knows when to move and what not to so and also by the way he's my current clan leader in the revolution clan we've been owning lately we got into a like, long as the win streak it was pretty fun so if you guys want to add mr nuclear 99 pro his PSN ID name will be in the bottom left corner. And by the way, it's only on PS4, not on PS3. So I'm sorry, PS3 players. We don't we don't play PS3 no more. <laughs> All right. So anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, which is about the review of the Div Division. Now, this is just going to be a quick review, though. It's not going to be like a full review, like all graphics and, you know, sound effects, whatever, blah, blah. No, this is pretty much of a, you know, just a draft of a review. So, um... On the first day of the division, the first release day, it was pretty much of a fail. You couldn't even play the game like for an hour or so. And um, you see, I bought the game at midnight, right? Or 11.30 p.m. because I live in the U.S. Central Time. And, um, you know, I finally got to get it like after like, a, like waiting in line like for 30 minutes. So I actually got it at midnight. And then um, I got home, tried to install it. And then I got an update after that, like a 2.5 gigabyte update. I waited like for another like 20 minutes, 10 minutes. I don't know why my internet was that slow. And then um, after that, after waiting for so long to play, I finally got to like get into the game at 12:40 p. Uh, yeah, 12:40 a.m. And then um, after that, a random ass message pops up, and I did post a video here on YouTube about that. It's about the mic error or the um, the Romeo error that popped up, and I went off on Twitter. I was like, "What the fuck, Ubisoft, really?" How can you? How can developers not know how many people are gonna log into the freaking game? To be honest, like, you got a multiplayer MMO game going on, and you don't even know how many people are gonna log in. You make extra servers in that fucking game. If you know you're gonna be successful, make extra servers. So that's exactly what happened. There was not enough servers for everybody apparently, and um, it took me like an hour to go back into the game. And I finally got into the game. I finally got to play a story mode, and I did post those two first two episodes here in my channel. You guys can check them out in my videos. And my opinion about the story is quite a little bit irrelevant, to be honest. Like, it's not that much of an interesting story. It's pretty bland, but at least it had a story, though. And also, to learn more about the story, all that stuff, all those extra phones you pick up, all those extra clips, those camera videos, you know, inside the game, that's part of the story. At least we don't have to go to the website like Mr. Destiny over here. Destiny, they make us pick up like some random ass shit like game clips or I don't know what the hell it was. Some folders or binders. I'm not sure what it's called. And they told us to go into Bungie.net to like look up the story. I was like, fuck that shit. You know, fuck that website. I'm not going in there. So uh, at least they made, they made it better than Destiny though on that part. And also they had more story than Destiny. Now, Destiny on the loot, it was quite horrendous, man. I will never fucking go... Uh, search for random ass loot of destiny because that's just randomized all the time and then um the loot on the division is quite better to be honest when you go into the dark zone man you're gonna fucking find a lot of goodies in that freaking place to be honest i got like freaking tons of blue things in the dark zone like a tons of blue weapons tons of upgraded weapons rare weapons or whatever and i was like having so much fun because i was like damn you know i'm getting the ak-47 level 14 blue you know all these fucking weapons i was like damn i'm having such a fucking hell of a time here and the way you can have more fun in the division because i know a lot of people are calling it boring already um which i do you know pretty much yes I, I i acknowledge that and i do feel boring sometimes when i'm playing alone but if you do have a friend in the friends list playing the division invite him immediately because it's a lot better if you're playing along with somebody if you're playing alone doing the missions by yourself it's just gonna get boring it feels like a chore it feels like you're getting the loot but you know what's the point you know it just it doesn't feel the game doesn't feel like it's supposed to be playing like that like it's just not supposed to be play, play like that not by yourself so i suggest to invite anybody whoever's in your friends that's playing the game and you can have more fun like uh when i bought the game like two days after i invited this other player typical white he's you can, guys can see my latest videos on with him and it's pretty fun like we freaking protect each other you know we call in our abilities help we heal each other it was pretty fun man and that's the way you can have fun in the division and if you play solo you're not gonna have that much fun so that's one of my suggestions man so that was my quick review about the division the loot is, is pretty much good and the, the the freaking map is detailed i was like wow man ubisoft you did a good job about this the map is freaking detailed and what else the missions are kind of bland the story is kind of bland too 
but it feels more fun if you do it with a friend. So I don't know, man. To you guys, it's gonna like be it's gonna be 50 50. But my recommendation is to play with a friend, and that's how you can have fun in the game. So I would rate this game so far a 7.8 out of 10.